Our universe is a vast and mysterious place. It's filled with billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars. We've learned so much about its birth in the Big Bang, its expansion, and the forces that govern it. But what about its end? Recently, I've been exploring a theory that suggests the universe might have an expiration date, and it's a lot sooner than you might think. My calculations, based on the latest observations of dark energy and the Higgs boson, point to a potential end within a human lifetime. This isn't about asteroids or supernovas. We're talking about the very fabric of space-time becoming unstable. Imagine the universe like a piece of cloth stretched taut. What happens if you keep pulling at it? Eventually, it rips apart. This isn't science fiction. It's based on real physics, and it's a possibility we need to consider. The good news is, there's still a lot we don't know. This 97-year time frame is based on our current understanding, which is constantly evolving. New discoveries could easily change this timeline, pushing the potential end further away or bringing it closer. However, the possibility, however remote, forces us to confront some fundamental questions. What does it mean for humanity if our time is truly limited? What are our responsibilities, and what legacy will we leave behind? These are questions we'll explore in the sections to come. Let's dive into the science a bit. One way the universe could end is through a phenomenon called vacuum decay. Imagine the universe like a valley surrounded by mountains. Right now, we're sitting comfortably at the bottom of the valley. This represents the lowest energy state of the universe, the true vacuum. But what if there's an even lower valley, a false vacuum? If a barrier is punctured, the universe would rapidly transition to the true vacuum. This transition would be instantaneous and unstoppable. Think of it like a bubble expanding at an unimaginable rate. It's a chilling thought, the universe winking out of existence. The good news is that we haven't observed any signs of vacuum decay. It's purely theoretical. Now, let's talk about another cosmic player. Dark energy. This mysterious force is accelerating the expansion of the universe. Imagine baking a loaf of raisin bread. As the bread rises, the raisins, representing galaxies, move further apart. That's the basic idea of cosmic expansion. Dark energy is like adding yeast to the dough, causing the bread to rise faster and faster. But what happens when the bread rises too much? It could eventually rip apart. That's the essence of the big rip scenario. As dark energy pushes the universe to expand at an accelerating rate, the fabric of space-time itself could be stretched too thin. Galaxies would be torn apart, followed by stars, planets, and even atoms. It would be the ultimate cosmic unraveling. The Big Rip, unlike vacuum decay, wouldn't be instantaneous. It would be a gradual process, potentially taking billions of years but it would be just as final. The universe wouldn't end with a bang, but with a slow, inexorable stretching into oblivion. The good news here is that the Big Rip is also just a theory. We need to learn much more about dark energy to determine if this scenario is even possible. But it highlights the immense power of this unseen force that governs the fate of the universe. The Cosmic Mirror facing our mortality and purpose, facing the potential end of the universe, even if it's billions of years away, forces us to confront our own mortality on a cosmic scale. It's a humbling experience, reminding us that we are but a small part of something much greater than ourselves. But it's also an opportunity for profound reflection. If our time is limited, what truly matters? What kind of legacy do we want to leave behind? Do we focus on our immediate needs and desires, or do we strive for something more enduring? These questions are as old as humanity itself, but they take on a new urgency in the face of cosmic impermanence. Some might find solace in religion or spirituality, seeking meaning and purpose beyond the material world. Others might find it in human connection, cherishing the time we have with loved ones. Still, others might find it in the pursuit of knowledge, 
pushing the boundaries of science and understanding to leave a lasting intellectual legacy. There's no right or wrong answer. The important thing is to ask these questions and find what gives our lives meaning. The universe may be indifferent to our fate, but that doesn't mean our lives are meaningless. We have the power to choose how we live, love, and contribute to the world around us. Lifeboats for the cosmos? Technology and the ultimate escape. The possibility of the universe's end also sparks our imaginations. Could we survive such a cataclysmic event? Science fiction has long explored the idea of escaping a dying Earth. But what about escaping a dying universe? This is where things get really interesting. Some theoretical physicists have proposed mind-boggling solutions. Imagine harnessing the very fabric of space-time, creating wormholes or warp drives that could transport us to other universes or dimensions. Or perhaps we could create pocket universes, self-contained bubbles of space-time immune to the decay of our own. These ideas may seem like pure fantasy, but they're based on real scientific principles. The technology to achieve them is far beyond our current capabilities, but who knows what the future holds? If the universe gives us a deadline, even a distant one, it also challenges us to push the boundaries of what's possible. However, such advanced technologies would come with immense ethical dilemmas. Who gets to decide who survives? What are the consequences of tampering with the fundamental fabric of reality? These are questions we need to start grappling with now, long before such technologies become a reality.